heading to Tampa to go see corn stain fire from the gods 86 see you guys there Two hours into my road trip, we just made it here to Ocala, Florida. I see a lot of out-of-state drivers, New York, Illinois. The people that are coming here from out-of-state are loving that freedom life. It's about two hours and 40 minutes, maybe two hours and 30 minutes, something like that, into the uh, road trip. And uh, we're just cruising on I-75, which, uh, was pretty busy back there for a while. There was a lot of traffic coming up north from like Miami. I guess a lot of people are, or they're leaving Florida after their vacation because a lot of people, like I said, guys, are coming to Florida and having fun because Florida, our governor is like, hey, there might be a pandemic going on, but we're still open for business. Come out and have fun. A lot of people might not like that, but hey, people come here because they still want to live uh, somewhat of a normal life. So we finally made it to Tampa. Off in the distance, I can see downtown. I don't know if anybody else is seeing these, but I keep seeing these Broncos, the Bronco Sport, like everywhere. You know what the only bad part about road tripping is? When you're in a side of town or a city that you don't know and then when you google everything everything seems too far because like 20 minutes here or 15 minutes there and you don't know like the back road to get you to point a to point b so but we got uh it's one like 130 right now so we got about four hours until the uh show happens and the only problem with my uh hotel that i got it's in a like a residential business uh uh, district so it's not even anywhere near like a shopping mall or a shopping district so technically there's nothing really around here which feels like it's uh getting ready to rain so hopefully uh the amphitheater that we're going to is uh covered because i don't want to be uh in a concert where it's raining shows in Florida. Hot and sweaty.
appreciate the opportunity so many years later to still play in front of such an amazing crowd like this. Thank you. So in case you were wondering, we are staying in Springfield, Massachusetts. But like I said, guys, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's uh, vlog. I'm only here in Tampa for uh, 24 hours, and uh, we will be heading back. Like I said, I only come to Tampa to hang out with a friend every now and then, and usually we go to a concert or, or an event or something like that because we live so far, it's not like we can hang out all the time because we would probably hang out way more often if we could. But me and her uh, decided to go to Corn and enjoy the uh, show i wanted to see fire from the gods more than any band because i've been really getting into them but uh they're not performing for some reason they didn't they didn't even like mention it i looked it up and it said they're not even going to be performing until the 31st of this month so i don't know exactly uh what happened or whatnot but at the end of the day um like i said my trip was successful it was fun i had great time uh uh, driving down here which took three hours and like 40 minutes and I had fun at the uh, show so um, Tomorrow we're gonna go get some breakfast hang out maybe do something a little bit around uh, Tampa and then we'll uh, head back because I, I got to work on Monday But like I said guys if you want to go out and do things right now go live your life 
do do what you think is uh, good for you. Don't. And through this whole pandemic, I'll say it again, through this whole pandemic, I say, if you don't want to do nothing, don't do nothing. But don't put negativity towards people who want to go out and have fun and live their life. So as always, it's your boy Trevor back with another video, baby.